Hey everybody, I'm Brad Nelson. And I'm Todd Stevens. And you're watching the Versus Series on StarCityGames.com. All right, so today is Wednesday on the Versus Series, and we are done with Dominaria Standard, and we're moving into No Bandless Modern. Mm -hmm. uh, scores tied 1 1, which means Ty gets to be first in the discussing format. Woo. Um, and uh, I'm just going to say, I have played this deck against you before. Okay. I am playing a card, um, an artifact, that uh, I'm really interested to see how good it is in this deck, and just it's like okay. a card. Could be. Chromebox. Not going to give it away. But that I'm, just, I'm just really interested to see, because I've never really played it out before. Never used okay. it. So. And all of those besides Marvel I have not played that you named. So could be any of those. All right. Well, let's just go. All right, let's, let's see. Go. Like, let's we, go. We can't talk. Nothing we can say is better than just playing No Bad Modern. My deck's already great. I have the best card ever printed in my hand, according to Jim Davis. And the actually, it's probably. The best card ever printed, according to Jim Davis? It is currently modern legal. The best card ever printed? Yep. Ooh, well, this, what's his, what's his metric? Because it can't be like Black Lotus. It can't be Ancestral Recall. You won't see it this turn. You'll see it uh, next turn. Got By you. Jim Davis. Mm -hmm. Is it... Probably like Time Vault. Time Vault? <laughs> That's modern legal? Oh, anyway, my hand's great. What's, right. How's your hand? It's medium. It's okay. Just, uh, uh, play around days. Chromox. Chromox and Forced. So you're playing some kind of... Yeah, I mean, it resolves. I don't have... There's no Force Will. Oh, wait. I need... Ugh. I can't play that in that. Ugh. All right, whatever. Go. What are you doing? I should have waited for the Chromox for next turn, but whatever. I got it down. What is happening? All right. Top. Okay. 18, your turn. It's really hoping you're going to play a fetch land. Well, I could have, but I'm not going to into a death ray shaman. Yeah. I messed this up, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I played that very bad. Is is this Jim? No, you said it, I won't see it until next turn. Yeah, well, you're not going to see it now. <laughs> Be <laughs> Told you I messed this turn up. It's okay. I, I still, I'm still confident. Death rate results. Attack. All right. All right. 17. Go. All right. Well, you, you have a fetch. Yeah. You have two cards in hand? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, basically really messed up by not playing that fetch on turn one. Well, why can't you fetch now? I can now, but I just want to save it now. It's not the best to do it now. Okay, I'm going to go to 14 and play counter belts. Okay. Just not used to playing Deathrite Shaman and just yeah. forgot, you know, I just messed that up. But that's okay. All right, definitely want a black mana. I think I want black red. So I got green, black, red, blue. I am so confused. And white, if you really want to fight for it. Yeah. We could play a Sliver Overlord right now. All right. All right, cut me. Remember the last time that uh, you cast spells into Counterbalance? Boo. <laughs> Hopefully I just drop Rupt K, get that thing out of here. All right. Here's my uh, best card ever printed. He says that's the best card ever printed? That's pretty good. It's pretty good. It on. is good. All right. Uh, trigger Counterbalance. Woo! All right. We're actually doing it. Mm -hmm. Clue. Uh, I have clues around here somewhere? Probably, right? I don't even know. Diddy's Blessing is a clue. All right. Um, I, think, I, don't, I think I'm just doing nothing but cracking clues here. Jim Davis said that's the best card ever printed. Yeah. It's very good. Oh, hey, Max. How's it going? <laughs> hey, buddy. All right, so I'm down to 18. Yep. Um, I'm just going to be... I'll just... Page for one. All right. Go ahead. 16. 
Draw. Ponder. Yep. Shuffle. All right, exile your flood strand. Yeah. I'm going to go to 15. I'm going to path tracker. All right. So I get the land first, or do you want me to draw first? Like, do you want me to do, you want to do the I want you to first? draw, and, okay. then, and then... All right, yeah. so I'll draw first, and then we'll yeah. go get the land. Oh, no, I fetch for... Oh, I don't have any more basics, I don't think. I think I just have the two. You can fetch for... Just do it. Just fetch and take pain. You're the aggressor. Yeah. I don't... Yeah, because my life total doesn't matter yeah. in this matter. It does... It doesn't until it does. Right. Like, until I, like, entry, and you're like, oh, I'm at 16, not 18, and now that's lethal. <laughs> All right, playing this one a little sloppy. About to, about to play a little better here. Watch out. Okay, untapping? Yep. I feel like I have a lot of stuff over here. Draw. That's a good card. Hmm. I'm going to... See what's up with this counterbalance with this Liliana of the Veil. I don't even know if I have threes in this deck, but I, I don't have any other play. Yeah. Gross. Alright. Um, I will not use it. Okay. Um... You have a two? Yeah. Basically, or that, or discard it, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, tick up. And so, I'll just... So, I could either... Yeah, so attack for two, or, like, yeah. drain for two. So, yeah. Down to 13? Yep. All right, your turn. But I just showed you a stamp. I don't know if that's relevant. But then you're mm. not going to be able to use your ability next Yeah, time. I don't have a black... Yeah, it's fine. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, you can snap path here. If you'd like. All right. Go. Hmm. Draw. I'm just gonna shock. I don't think it well, I don't think it really matters. All right, go to fourteen. Sure. Take up. Crack clue. Yep. I will pass turn. Uh, one quick thing, like this is actually, um, I know this is No Boundless Modern, and we're just like playing decks to see how decks work, and lately we've been, you know, goofing off on, on the Versus series, and not talking technical play, but um, Todd did a sequencing that I think is really important, uh, especially since Modern has clues and has Leonix. Sorry for hitting this. You're good. But good. if he cracked, he has enough mana to go crack clue, play whatever he draws, and then play the land. Mm -hmm. um, if it's two lands, then whatever, but. Some people would go, like, play the land, crack the clue, play the creature, tick up Lily. But then that threatens Cryptic Command of bouncing Liliana and making the discard. Right. And I think that is, it's really important to showcase when that happens. That's a good point. So, yeah, by me leaving the clue there, even if you try to, if you try to bounce the Lily in response to tick up, I get a draw card and just, yep. and can choose then. All right. Um, upkeep. Yep. Miracle. All right. We'll go drain, path. And drain, uh, ponder. Okay. So these go to the bottom. You go to nine. I go to nine. And you have one card in hand. Yeah. Go. 
Two. How many cards do you have? Two. Okay. I know we got a snappy in there. Take up. Good. Top. Yep. Shuffle to eight. Mm -hmm. Top. Draw, play this, say go. Upkeep. Or, yeah, upkeep. Upkeep. All right, so that was draw. All right. All right, then draw. Tap down. All right, hopefully, hopefully old bobbers. Results. Woo! Results? Results. Woo! All right. Um, I guess I want to take up, so I guess just bolt you. Played your life. Let's just step it. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Six. <laughs> take up. Good. All right. Upkeep. Top. So your top wasn't a one, two, or three, huh? No. Ah. That's fortunate for me. Yeah, this is not looking good. Um, all right, draw. Bounce that. Play Lance, I go. Oh, that's not a good draw. All right, so definitely assuming this is going to get countered. But I mean, you just have the the third card, and you do you do have the top though. I don't really see a reason not to play it though. Yeah, there's not much. There's there's not really a reason not to play top. it. So just have to get lucky. Okay. Uh, you may eh, whatever. I'm just discarding this. Okay. Because it's Tarmogoyf. All right. Um. I just want to reference. Okay. Yeah. yeah I will just. Go. Get another one down for like Lily Ultimate and stuff. Mm -hmm. Tick up, go ahead. It's already at six? Yep. Go. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and fetch here because I know the two Deathrite Shaman at the bottom of my deck. I guess I can top turn my upkeep. I can just hit a Jace, right? So I'm down to 13. Mm -hmm. How would I want to do a Lily Ultimate? I think I know how I want to. All right, let's see. Let's see what we draw. So I could be greedy and try to go to go to 7. I don't have any more trackers. I just have the 1. So could be where you go to seven or could ultimate. If I ultimate, I'm going to do uh, spells and lands. Um, I think I can be greedy. If you didn't, if you had nothing last turn, I think I can be greedy. There's not a ton in blue white. All right, let's go to seven. Go ahead. Top. Yeah. Draw. Top. Yeah. All right, minus six. We'll do the spells and the lands. Well, well I'm going to reset. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, cool. Yeah, minus I'm six. Draw this yeah. and then draw 
draw that one. Okay. All right. So now let's see. We'll do counterbalance, counterbalance, and steam fence. Okay. So if you take counterbalance and steam fence, gives you a land for top and everything. All right. Spells and lands. All right. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Play and spin. Yeah. So if I gave you balance, balance, steam vents, you probably would. Have, would you have taken balance, balance, steam vents? Do you think? I don't think so. Okay. You don't think so? No. Nah. Uh, so I could have got the steam vents out of you. Go. Yep. All right. Something to do. Third black cleef cliffs in a row. Pick up. Uh, top. Yeah. That's a spot of probably I should just be discarding the black leaf cliffs to hold it. Because you had four mana. Discard this. Yeah. Go ahead. Right, draw. Top. Yeah. Yeah, I should just discard that. I should get that in my hand. Go. Go to eleven. That's easy. So, yeah. Okay. And then uh, tick up. Can't really fight it unless I really want to lose something. Yeah. Right, top. Okay. Yep. Right, draw. Top. Where are any of my good cards? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh. Top. <laughs> Top. They're in my deck. Right? Go. 30 minutes later. <laughs> oh. You did put win conditions in here, right? <laughs> All right. Top. Don't, you, you haven't even had like a fetch land or anything. I know. Um, <laughs> like, do I have punishing fires in here somewhere? That'd be nice. You're at six. Go. Punishing fire. Uh, play death right salmon. Mental misstep it. Okay. <laughs> Pick up. Go. Yeah. Top. I gotta put that on here. Do I? What do I? Do? I think I just do this. Okay. Put this on bottom. This in hand. And then top. I wonder why they didn't like top at tournaments. Hmm. hmm. I haven't figured that one out yet. I've been I've been paying attention. I've been trying to figure it out. Go. Hmm. That's really awkward. Good card. Yeah, not one I want to discard, but not one I can cast right now. What? Yeah, like what am I supposed oh. to do with the Rupt K? Oh, sure, yeah. You know, like I, that's a credit card I want, but not. I don't want to get rid of my Lily. I mean, I get so if I if I cast it, you, just put the top back on top. Is that even worth? It? Sure, whatever. The Rupt K one. I don't know. Entry for five angels. Scoop. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're here for sideboarding, and we don't have a ton for the matchup. Cards we're bringing in here are uh, in front. I'm not in love with this this first card here, but I think it's kind of better than than these other options. Um, not going to really want those. We're going to take out one of these with it being a, a little bit of a slower matchup. But, um, yeah, we only have just a couple grindy cards, so hopefully that will uh, get us there. Man, I might have more grindy cards than you. Yeah, I, I don't um, have much here. But I'm taking out some of the cheap inefficient counter magic that sometimes is going to cause an issue one of the things i don't know if this is the right way um i i considered taking like some of the terminus out because like sometimes old miracles and legacy would board out some terminus against um uh, mid-range creature decks like sultai because mm -hmm. it's just so hard to set up mm -hmm. but i think this matchup plays out a little bit differently 
So I'm keeping them, but I might consider taking them out um, and doing more sideboarding later. But for now, I'm just going to take some of this out because I just don't think it's going to be that important and uh, bringing in some of the haymakers. All right, we're here for game two and uh, like our hand. So we got we got one of our best cards to lead off with, and hopefully that'll help get us there. Let's do it. All right. Um, I think we will go fetch, shock, get Ooh. overgrown tomb. Since he fetched, I think it's important for us to fetch. And I'm going to go fetch for blue white and play a sensei to my top. I will misstep that. Well, that's rude. It's misstepped. Gotta watch your footing, Brad. <laughs> my mental footing? Yeah, your mental footing. <laughs> All right, your turn. So I'm down to 15. Oh, if only, that's a lot of life loss. If only I had a card that like also is a win condition that also helped me gain life. That'd be good. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. I found that one. Sky Engineers? This one. Oh. <laughs> uh, Inquisition of Kozlaki. I'll take this enchantment. Alrighty. All right. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to hold back and drain. Go ahead. All right. Go. All right. Oops. Train my Inquisition. So 17? Yeah. No, uh, no, I'm at 15. 15, 15 down, down. Yeah, yeah. That's right. 17 before, now 15. Didn't do the whole draining part. Hmm. All right. Uh, exile your Flood Strand yep. for mana. You just didn't do anything? You just had a bunch of cantrips? Huh. Eh, whatever. We got. Let's try it out. Okay. I'll Let's... go to. 12. Yep, that's fine. Get my red mana out. I don't like all the shocking, but... And I have to exile one? Yeah, I had, I was... And I can exile that one, yeah. Yep, okay. Yeah, I was stepped up. And play this second main as possible. Yeah, that's good. Alright, all right, go ahead. So, cut no cut? No cut. So, 15 to 12? Uh, I have... Yeah, you 15. have 15, yeah. 15 yeah, to 15 12. 12. Yeah. Oh, ponder. Mm -hmm. Keep. Good. And I'm just making sure I put them in the right order. Yep. Um. Go. I'll just play another death rate. Oh, I'm going to step it. Pain mana. Uh, yeah. Go on. Go. End step. I will eat this. Okay. Mana, this, oh. this. I'll buy back tracker. Have you discarded? Rude. Okay. Tracker. You have two cards? Two. Results. Um, I think I will just pass. Yeah, I'll just pass the turn. Okay. Uh, make two angels. Okay. Got to get aggressive. Yeah, I like it. And then lead with a preordain. Is that okay? Crack? Yeah. 
So I'm basically doing this right now because I don't think Brad is going to uh, get rid of my tracker here in response to this crack, but he may, you know, if like after it, the width yeah. of preordain. All right, go ahead. You can preordain now. I want this. Okay. I got this clear. So I'm down to 14. Yep. I am down to less than 14. You're at six. Yeah. Top. Okay. And your turn. All right, I'll exile my land and this and crack clue. I'll let you draw, and then I'm going to path the tracker. Draw path tracker. Good. I'm glad this deck is My banned. bottom three cards were all Liliana the Veils? What was that? The Miracles? Yeah. yeah. Like, I am getting, like, flashback horrors of when I entreated you... Because mm -hmm. I don't do this. I'm the one that always got, and like I'm playing this long game, and then all of a sudden they're yeah. just like brainstorm and treat for two angels, and I'm at 10, and I'm like, it just all switches on you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm experiencing that right now. Okay, uh, draw for turn. Well, that's a dead card. Um, so even the gain two life is not going to be enough. Mm -mm. So you got one last chance. Oop. You got me. Oh, top. And treat the angel does it again. Yep. All right, well, we are done with our third match, mm -hmm. and I have taken the lead, kind sir. Yeah, you got the angels on your side. It looks like Goliath can see after all, mm -hmm. as he looks into the heavens and finds angels. That worked. I think, I think that worked. It's Nailed good. it. Yep, Nailed got it. it. Yeah. Got there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was our first match of No Bandless Modern. We've got another one, and... The weird thing is, I don't know if Miracles is fast enough, but if you don't mm -hmm. get off to a start, it just takes over. Right, yeah. I, I definitely messed up the game one with not playing my fetch line on turn one, so I couldn't really play tracker on two, because yeah. I wanted to save it. Like, you know, I could have mm -hmm. just basically played the... Did. Yeah. That's what you did. Yeah. So that, that's where I messed up that game. Because if, yeah. I, if I just play the fetch land, then I have the curl Mox, the three man, I get to play all tracker, right, get the clues. Right. So... Yada, yeah. yada, yada. We're playing modern. We've got SCG Con. Mm -hmm. the, you know... Jim Davis thinks Tracker is the best magic card of all time. Yeah. No. Like, basically on just, like, you know, not, not, like, specifically most powerful, that kind of stuff. Just, like, best made and everything, like, all around, like, just, like, the best card. Like, best made, well designed? Yeah, and just, it like, everything put together. It's a horribly designed magic card. No, it's a, it's a wonderfully designed magic it's card. It's a horribly designed. It shouldn't be a 3-2. It gets big way too fast. It draws way too many cards. It made standard abysmal. Yeah. Because no one ran out of anything. No, yeah, you always had so much, so much gas because all the clues and. I mean, yeah. you're talking to someone that never once did not have tracker in their deck. Never right. once. I never played any standard format. I don't think like, I've ever played a modern format without it in my deck. Well, yeah, that's that, that, that's aggressive. I, I have done that. <laughs> yeah, I know I have. But, to, but um, but no, I, I honestly cannot look back at any time during tracker's existence center and say I played a deck without tracker in it. Right. Um. Yeah, it's definitely a. Esper it's a, Dragons, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You played yeah, Esper Dragons. Yeah, I did Dragon. play Esper Dragons. Um, it's definitely a really big snowball card. You know, like how it just gets so big so fast, also, and just like, you know, it'll just end the game and while drawing you cards, it does like all. Like, it does everything. Did Trekker and Esper Dragons even see each other, actually? Well, Esper Dragons was during Rally. Rally was not necessarily during it was Tracker. Free Tracker. I think that might have, not have had a crossover. I think they did. They, def they definitely did. I know I played Nissa. Oh wait, no, never mind. Innistrad tracker was tracker, yeah. Dragons. Tracker was Innistrad, not Origins. I was thinking it was Origins for yeah, a second. Yeah, Innistrad. Yeah, so no, I guess they probably didn't. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So yeah, All you right. probably didn't. I, I honestly think that I had Tracker in every single deck ever, but that card is not a well-designed Magic card. It, <laughs> it, yes, it 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 it's prone to continue playing, mm -hmm. which is nice, but Jim Davis is wrong. When he comes <laughs> to town in a couple weeks, I'm gonna have a sit down with him, and we're gonna talk about what a well-designed Magic card is, and it's not Course of Crew Fix. What? That is also a horribly designed magic card. What? That's a, it's an enchantment, so you can kill it with enchantment removal. It gives perfect information to everyone, so the games yeah. aren't fun. Yeah, well, that's why you have to have fetch land, so you Pro change it on their end step. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, everyone, and listening to us rant about green creatures that draw cards aren't good magic cards. They're great. Well, yeah, they're great. They're not well-designed good magic cards. No, they're not good. They're great. That's what Brad's saying. They're great. They're great. <laughs> and so are these videos. So join us tomorrow when we play another No Bandless Modern. And then I get to play my first Brawl game ever. Ooh. So I'm predicting I'm going to win 1-0 in the Brawl. 
So you're going to win the game. Yeah. You, you're predicting you're going to win the game. Mm-hmm. You're that confident in your deck. I am. I Have think my deck is awesome. Uh, no. Did majors give it to you? No. No, of Are course you not. Sure? Yes, I'm sure. No, I, I made feel the deck. That confidence is because majors gave you a no. Deck it's it's because it has a lot of cards that I haven't that are just too expensive for standard, but I think will be really powerful in the brawl match. That could, yeah, maybe that format. Maybe well, you have to get to them. Right, I have to get to them, but I think I can. Okay, well, I think we'll I can. see in two days. But join us tomorrow when we play. I think I can. A little bit more no bandless modern. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.